Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the operation of Wilson Curran mirror and then we will perform their transit analysis and design analysis for the Wilson Curran mirror. So, in Casco Curran mirror, the drawback was uh, in the output voltage, it uses two overdrive voltage and one threshold voltage, which consumes more voltage. So, to overcome that one, we have used an, a negative feedback in the Wilson Curran mirror. So, by means of and having an M3 and M2, so we have an external circuit over here. If external circuit incre increases the voltage of this node, then the upper current also increases. When the upper current increases, then the voltage at this point also gets increases. It has been current mirror to the M1, so the voltage here also gets increases. When VGS increases, so then obviously the current flow will be get reduced over in the output side. So it is called a negative feedback. So by means of negative feedback, we have produced an instability in the output side. The stability of the output has been increased by using a Wilson current mirror. So now let us see the DC analysis and transit analysis for the Wilson current mirror. So at first we will perform DC analysis. So for DC analysis, keep your DC value as a 0, null and then please perform your DC analysis and then here I have kept, kept my W ratio for all the transistors say equal so for M3, M1 and M2 all have the same double bail ratio of 10 micrometer to 5 micrometer so at first let us perform DC analysis so for DC analysis simulate edit simulation command go to DC sweep so I'm going to perform DC sweep the voltage source is V1 and then the start value is going to be 0 and stop value is going to be 5 volts and it will increment by 1 so now let us perform DC analysis for the Wilson Curran mirror so add traces and I'm going to select ID of M1, M2 and M3 so here we can see since the all, the all the W bill ratio are same we can find the same current flow over there so we can I told right the because of negative feedback the current will be get reduced in the an output side so here we can see the stability has been increased through the Wilson current mirror so now we will perform transient analysis go to simulate edit simulation command and go to transient analysis the stop time is 5 milliseconds I want to start saving it from 0 and the maximum time is 0 0.1 milliseconds so here I should give the V1 as a 5 volts uh, when I'm performing transit analysis so now here you can see it's almost same current let us give the bottom as a 0 and top as some 6.9 so here you can see the corresponding the output current is, is almost equal here we can find an idea of M1 and idea of M2 and idea of M3 it's almost has been same so here by means of using a negative feedback we have increased the stability and then we have increased the by means of increased stability the output distance has been increased by a GM R not square the output distance has been doubled over here so this is the performance of Wilson Curran mirror Thank you for watching.